Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lurie back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, we're going to be talking about transit Saturn, sextile or trine, one's natal ascendant. Now, this transit could manifest in the career, hard work, uh, the father, uh, responsibilities, and discipline, being in harmony with the physical body and appearance. And I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. Well, uh, for one thing, this could be a time where you have uh, more of the, um, the ability um, you know, to work hard, I would say, work laboriously because you're physically. It's a good time where you'd be more physically up for it. Um, hard work and the physical body are basically uh, compatible at this time. And it could also be a time where, um, you know, far as matters with your career, uh, your appearance may be more auspicious for it if you're trying to get uh, some kind of raise and you're trying to elevate yourself in, in your position in, at your business, this could be a time where the appearance uh, might really speak volumes and pay dividends um, because this is where, this is the time when you're talking about Saturn, which can have a connection with the career and the ascendant being um, about the appearance and the physical body. And it's also a time where the father is more likely and not to be, you know, more, um, really more in agreement, you know, with your appearance, your outlook, you know, how you are physically at this point in time, or it could just be beneficial in matters um, with your physical body. Like, for example, if you were having, a, if you were, you know, something that was debilitated or you're, you know, if you were sickly by chance at this time, this could be a time where the father might be beneficial uh, in those um, matters, if you have, say, if you have your ascendant with Scorpio, if you're having any problems, say, with the colon, the prostate, the bladder, the reproductive system, this could be a time where the father might be giving you, be there to give you some pointers or give you assistance in terms of, you know, dealing with it, you know, at this point in time. And it's also a time where you're more likely to be more disciplined just in general in matters with what you do uh, from a physical standpoint and um, it, it can be in terms of your actions or your energy at this time because the ascendant is also connected with vitality and energy so it's a time where you may be more disciplined with your as far as your energy at this time more so than usual say if you have your ascendant in Pisces Pisces ascendant is generally not known to have you know, robust you know, vitality or constitution, so it would be important at this time, so if your ascendant is in Pisces, where you would be very disciplined in terms of, you know, how you're going to expend, you know, your energy, and I would say especially more so with a sign like Pisces or Cancer, where the vitality generally isn't uh, very high and the constitution is not really that, that good for those signs. Um, this could be very beneficial um, if your ascendant is in Taurus, like mine. I mean, Taurus ascendant could have much latent energy behind powers of endurance and stamina. So it could be a time where it would be very you know, positive to because for Taurus, because Taurus is the rising is able to, it has, often has an ability to pace themselves and be able to hold their energy in for when they really need it. It is a lot of latent energy when you have a Taurus ascendant. I could speak from that firsthand as many of you know I do have Taurus rising. And the thing about this is too, is that um, people are older people authority figures and um, the father could be more in harmony with with, the, with your outer demeanor the qualities you're projecting um, outwardly the ascendant uh, reflects the qualities that we readily express and um, if somebody has a you know, Gemini ascendant it could be a time where these people are more um, in harmony you know, with the very you know, the loquacious the verbal the ver verbosity the versatility of Gemini ascendant. Um, it can be a time um, Gemini rising is often very spirited and animated as well and vivacious and those qualities may be more readily accepted by Saturn people again such as the father, older people and authority figures. And it's also a time where it can be positive for making that a good first impression 
on, uh, on an authority figure at this time because Saturn is connected with that. It's associated with business and careers. And, and if you have a, if you're going for some interview and you have a prospective business that you're, you're trying to get, um, you're trying to join, this could be a rather auspicious time for doing so and, and winning favor with that for with those people with authority figures at this time more so uh, than you ordinarily would and it's also a time where you're more about being responsible than with your appearance not letting your appearance you know you know just go to just basically um, you know not you know not letting it go to pieces at this time you're more probably more prudent you'll be more prudent this time is how you appear to others and you're going to be more you know, careful, I would say, regarding how you're, um, how you're dressing, and it'll be a very positive time uh, for that, and also physically too. And it might be, you know, if you're a time, um, if this is a time where you're, or, uh, if you're a person you know, that's overweight, like many of us are, it might be a time where you could do something you know, with a lot of structure and discipline. In getting yourself physically back in shape, I would say at this time as well. And um, the ascendant is also connected uh, with the early childhood and, and, and associated with the grandparent. It's a time where, when you have um, when you have this transit, it's a good. It could be a positive time for responsibilities for these people, being able to do them, take care of those responsibilities with little or uh, no diversions or distractions at this time. And it's also a time to where you know, Saturn people again uh, being connected with authority figures, the father, older people may be more in harmony with your outlook at, on life at this time. If the ascendant is in Sagittarius, say it can be an outlook that's very positive, where you're optimistic, where you could really be that incorrigible optimist. Um, you know, Taurus rising can be very down to earth, but still very pragmatic and practical as well. And um, really, it's a time. And, but even so, you know that energy may be more in harmony again with older people, uh, father authority figures at this time more so uh, than it ordinarily would. And the thing about you know this too, when you have this transit, um, it's also a positive time, I would say, for new beginnings. I mean, the Senate is connected with new beginnings. Saturn is about planning premeditation, so it's a very positive time, I would say, if you're making any plans to start something new, embark on something new, and doing so in a very premeditative manner. It would be especially positive, I would say, if the Ascendant is in an Earth sign, if, it's in, if your Ascendant is in Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, because those signs, being Earth signs, are naturally premeditative, and I know I could speak uh, you know, something of it. I even had a, a Taurus a son friend of mine actually state to me that he wished he could be more, you know, about being consistent and reliable or something to that effect. And you know, I, I know I understand a lot of it has to do, you know, with, with the ascendant. I, I do believe that it's much stronger than the sun as far as what you're, at least what you're projecting, the qualities and characteristics that are being projected outwardly, and. Uh, the thing about this is, you, when you have um, this transit as well, it's also could be a time uh, you know, when you have um, when you have transit again, transit Saturn making a sextile or trying you know, to the natal uh, to the natal ascendant. Um, it's also um, you know, keep in mind it would be ascendant being connected with defense mechanisms. It can be associated with what we may do. In an unsure, unsafe scenario, again going back to Taurus rising as an example, you know, Taurus ascendant may put on a very obstinate or stubborn front. You know, being in an unsafe situation, or Gemini rising might you know, talk somebody to death. You know, basically, you know, because Gemini can be very loquacious and try to talk their way out of a situation. But when you have this transit, it's more control over becoming overly defensive, I would say, as well, because of that. The ascendant, if the ascendant is in Aries, it could be a very, you know, acrimonious, angry you know, type response, I would say, when one's in an unsafe, you know, situation, putting up a, a front where one, you know, wants to combat and fight. And this is a time where there can be a little bit more control 
over a negative defensive uh, response to something, I would say, uh, when you have this trans this Saturn is about discipline. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now this could also be a time, another way this transit may be expressed, it could be about responsibility, which is Saturn, or the physical body, which is the um, ascendant. Now, let's say, for example, if the ascendant is in Taurus, it could be matters connected with the throat, or the neck, the thyroid, the esophagus, as um, some examples. Um, it can be a time, too, where the father, which is Saturn, may be more uh, in harmony and agreement, more compatible with those qualities that you naturally express, which is the ascendant. If the ascendant, uh, say, is in the zodiac sign Cancer, it could those qualities that might be readily expressed could be uh, ones that are to being, being um, tenacious, um, dedicated, protective, uh, devoted, um, sympathetic uh, as some examples and it's also a time where it could be very auspicious for planned and premeditated which is Saturn uh, new beginnings which is the ascendant if the ascendant is in Libra as an example those new beginnings may be associated with art uh, tennis gymnastics tennis and gymnastics are sports I would say associated with Libra because they involve balance and also on um, fashion design as some examples. It could also be a propitious time for laborious work, which is Saturn, uh, with a grandparent or someone that was prominent in your early childhood, which is the Ascendant. If the Ascendant is in Leo, for example, it could be uh, with a Leo uh, sun, moon, or Ascendant person, or one that simply embodies Leo characteristics. It could also be a very positive time for concentration, which is Saturn, on making that good first impression, which is the ascendant on others. Let's say, for example, if the ascendant is in Virgo, it may be uh, an impression where, you know, where one eight, you know, exhibits punctuality, um, you know, very, uh, in very intellectual qualities, cerebral qualities, analytical ability, um, being punctilious with details. Those are, um, you know, by expressing those qualities, this is where one may make a good first impression in that example with Virgo being the Senate. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, everyone here at Saints, stay well.